Quebec. And mesh! Many humans do it the moment they wake up in the morning or after sitting in front of their computer for several hours. Pet dogs like to do it too, but not just in the morning. They do it at noon, before a walk, before a nap, practically anytime they want to, really. Of course, we're talking about a good stretch. Dogs have different reasons for stretching out their legs and whole bodies, and here are 10 of them. We start with number 10, to warm up before a walk. Even though they love to move around and often get the zoomies for no reason at all, Dogs also benefit from warming up before they do some extensive exercise, like their daily walks. And this dog became viral for his special warm-up routine whenever he goes out for a walk. First, he stretches one of his hind legs, then his neck and body. Sometimes he'll stretch out his neck first, then one of his legs. Sometimes he'll concentrate only on his legs. He can even stretch a leg and his neck at the same time. Look at how balanced he is. And he does this every single time he goes out. What a dedicated pup. Number 9. To teach humans to crawl When we talk about pet dogs and training, we usually think about humans teaching their pets basic commands and actions. So we sometimes forget that dogs can be really great teachers too. They teach us to appreciate the simple things in life, like a flower or a butterfly. They teach us to take time out to play and to nap and to have lots of treats. And they teach us how to crawl. These dogs are the perfect teachers to their tiny humans. They demonstrate step by step that when you stretch, you can crawl. The first is a Jack Russell that teaches his human to stretch her legs out and drag them to crawl forward. The baby gives a delighted howl after the lesson as her teacher plops down for a belly rub. The next dog is also a Jack Russell, but this one teaches its human to warm up the upper body before stretching out the legs for a fast crawl. If all teachers were like this, then we'd learn our lessons fast too. Number 8. To use the toilet Toilet for dogs means going out of the house, if they're lucky. They live in a house with a big yard to do their business in, but sometimes they have to do it on the street or a park during their daily walks. Anyway, it's a big no-no for dogs to pee or poop inside the house, and this is why humans spend a lot of time house training their pets. Of course, this rule goes out the window when pets know how to use the facilities of a real toilet. Like this red Boston Terrier named Denario, this good boy stretches his back legs to reach the toilet seat and do his thing. It looks really uncomfortable, but Denario seems to have mastered the difficult balancing act. And of course, no one wants to be interrupted when they're on the toilet. So when Denario's human asks him what he's doing, the dog answers with a very loud, that loud fart is the dog's way of saying, give me some privacy, human. Now, there's one question that every human viewer wants to know. Does Denario know how to flush the toilet? Number seven, to see over the fence. Each breed of dog has a unique characteristic, a long body with short legs, a short snout with a pudgy body, a pair of really long ears, a really long snout with a long body, and long legs like this dog. Meet Eris, a bourgeois wolfhound who has a 12.2 inch snout and a long body to match. Her humans believe she has the longest snout in the world. The Guinness World Records haven't confirmed it yet, but we can somehow agree. Anyway, besides her peculiar snout, she also has a body that's more about length than size. So whenever she stretches over her house's fence to see if her favorite neighbor is around, she can really stretch and tower over it. Other dogs would need to jump up and down several times to see over the fence, preferably with the help of a trampoline. Eris just needs to stretch up into a standing position. Fun facts about bourgeois, they originally came from Russia in the 17th century. Russian aristocrats used to love organizing hunting parties, and bourgeois became their favorite hunting dogs because of their speed. Looking at Eris, we can imagine being able to keep up with the horse. As adults, bourgeois reach up to about 26 to 30 inches at the shoulder and weigh around 100 pounds. Number 6. To get to the other side Sometimes when you're a small dog, going from one couch to the other feels like a Lord of the Rings adventure. Because, you know, for small humans and small dogs, even a short distance between mountains, or in this case couches, can feel like a big chasm. As an example, here is Bruiser, the small French bulldog. We're not sure if he's really trying to cross the Great Couch Divide, or if he just wants to get a good stretch in a very unusual position. His humans think that he's just chilling while pretending to be a bridge. Look at how he ignores his human when asked what he's doing, and he doesn't change his position at all until his human laughs out loud. Then he shifts as if irritated that his human didn't understand what he wanted to do. So what do you think Bruiser was really trying to do? We're halfway through. Are you liking this video? Then please take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel. Remember to hit the notification button for regular updates of our informative and exciting animal videos. Number 5. To make some noises Besides barking, dogs make a lot of other noises, like long, deep, and throaty baying when they're excitedly running after something. 
or see an unfamiliar person coming near their territory, or honking like a goose, which may sound funny, but may be a symptom of a really bad health problem. Sleep barking is also very popular. You know, when your dogs are so deeply asleep, but they start to twitch and bark softly. Then there's the whining when begging for more treats. But here's one dog that makes some unique noises. Whenever Sterling, the golden retriever, stretches, he makes these noises. It's like a combination of a yowl and huff and a bark. Like he's saying, hey mom, I'm gonna do a big stretch. Watch me. Well, whatever the noises mean, at least we know that Sterling is enjoying his stretches. Number four, to start the day. Morning stretches are some of the best stretches in the world. It beats afternoon and even evening stretches and morning stretches come in different forms. Nala, the brindle boxer, is definitely a morning person. I mean, a dog. Her morning stretch is part of her early morning yoga to start the day in a great way. Meanwhile, Coco the Moo Moo Pitbull is content with an upside down stretch while continuing to sleep. This is one dog that's definitely not a morning person if she were human. But here's one puppy who takes the whole morning stretch to a different level. He stretches and scratches and crawls at the same time. Number three, to do the downward dog. With thousands of videos of dogs doing it, here's our obligatory yoga downward dog with an actual dog. The internet is so flooded with videos of dogs doing yoga that a new term has been created for it, doga. Among the thousands of videos, here's one good girl doing a full doga routine. Secret is a six-year-old Australian Shepherd who really loves working out with her human. She even rolls out her own mat each time they exercise. Her human knew that Australian Shepherds love to learn tricks, so she hit upon the idea of training her dog to do different tricks and positions that eventually became their doga routine. Secret knows poses like cobra lift, side twist, child's pose, and a special variety of the downward dog done with just one leg. She's so good that she even balances on her human's feet and Secret is very serious about her doga. As soon as she rolls out her mat, she's focused on each pose. Secret's human is heading for university soon, and this dog is ready to be the best service dog on campus. She can also moonlight as a doga instructor. Number two, to get their humans to carry them. Poodles are considered some of the most expensive breeds in the world, and they come in three sizes, standard, miniature, and toy. We'll focus on the standard poodle for now. It was the first of the poodle breed to be developed and more popularly known as the French poodle. The standard poodle can grow into a medium to large to super large sized dog. It can weigh anywhere from 45 to 70 pounds. And despite its size, it's also very, very, very affectionate. It loves to cuddle and hug and in the cases of these gigantic poodles, to stretch up to their humans so they can be carried like babies. I mean, really, these big dogs don't seem to realize that they're not the toy variety of poodles. Can you imagine carrying a 70-pound ball of fur? <laughs> we sure can. Number one, to stretch with wheels. Meet Lexi. She used to be an ordinary border collie, but now she's extraordinary. This year, she was diagnosed with degenerative myelopathy. This condition affected her spinal cord, which led to a slow but progressive weakening of her hind legs. So she needed to go through therapy. Eventually, she got a pair of wheels to help her move around. But just because she needs a little bit of help doesn't mean she'll stop having fun. And this is why Lexi is at the top of our list. Here she is stretching for a bit while waiting for humans. You see, for a short time, her condition prevented Lexi from enjoying something so simple as stretching. So when she managed to stretch again, it was a big milestone for her and her humans. Go Lexi, you can do it. There you have it, our top 10 best stretches by dogs. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click the like button and also to subscribe to our channel. And while you're here, check out our video of the nine scientific ways to tell that your dog loves you.